Hey everyone, welcome to May's Log Life. I'm May, and today I'm going to show you how I packed a bunch of my different lugs uh, for a little get together I'm having in the backyard of my building tomorrow. Uh, so basically, what's going on is I have um, I've been I, I'm really lucky. I live in a condo where there's, there's a little bit of a sort of common backyard space that anybody who lives in the in the complex can use. It's a it's a pretty large green space. Um, it's just you know there's there's really nothing to it. There's a little bit of landscaping, but there's a few like Muskoka chairs and a few pictures tables. Uh, people just kind of grab them whenever they, you know, whenever they're out there. You can use them anytime. You don't have to book them. Uh, you can use them as long as you want, as long as no one else is using them. So, um, so the reason why I say that is because that's essentially where I'm going to be entertaining uh, a friend of mine tomorrow. So there's a person who I haven't seen in a very long time. We're lucky if we can get together once a year. We have a really good visit. Like sometimes, I think last time, actually it was last year. Uh, this was the first time I did this uh, with anybody. So she came over last summer, probably exactly a year ago. Um, at the time, I really hadn't seen her in like two or three years. Wanted to get together, but didn't feel like a restaurant was appropriate. Still trying to avoid crowds last year. Plus, I had no money because I spent it all on these things. Um, and so going into a restaurant situation was not ideal for me. Plus, if you're really trying to, you know, have a really good visit with an old friend and all you just want to do is like hang out and talk, restaurants don't really like you, especially if they're a little bit on the busier side, uh, unless you're ordering tons of food, lots of dessert, lots of uh, drinks, uh, they kind of want you out of there because you're just taking up a spot that they could use for somebody else who's actually going to pay. Um, and because I don't drink, I don't eat a lot of desserts, um, I'll eat my main and I'll, you know, that's pretty much all I'll do. Uh, and then I just sit there and talk to my friend. They don't really enjoy having me there. Even if I tip them, you know, they don't know that I'm going to tip them well until the, until after I leave. So while I'm there, I get a lot of like, you know, weird faces and sort of funny expressions. So, you know, it's one of these things where if I really want to have a proper visit with someone, I would bring them into my home and we could have, you know, as we can eat whatever we want, drink whatever we want, and spend as much time as we want on the couch or whatever it is. The only problem is I don't like cleaning and I'm not the tidiest person. I'm not the cleanest person. And I always feel like no matter how hard I clean, there's always going to be some corner or a shelf or a whatever that I forgot to clean and I'm going to completely, completely repulse my guest. Uh, there is no way that I am that fastidious uh, because I don't like cleaning. I really don't enjoy it. So for me to have to invite someone in my home is huge stress uh, for me and it takes weeks and weeks before I actually can get to the point where I feel like the whole place is clean. And then by the time I get to the, you know, to the point that I've, whole, I've cleaned the whole place, we're back to, you know, where whole places in the build, sorry, in the, in the apartment are gross again. So it's it's just like a never ending battle. Uh, so I discovered last year, it was just easier to invite them over and then have them sit in the sort of backyard area of my building. But in order to do that, I have to pack everything that I need and take it down with me so that I'm not going up and down the stairs all day long. Um, so what I've decided, what I've sort of figured out how to do, and I sort of did it on the fly last year and it worked really well. Uh, I'm going to see my friend tomorrow. That'll be the, the third time I've done this. I actually brought a friend over who I haven't seen in 20 years uh, over into my yard uh, a couple weeks ago. Did something very, very similar. Uh, so I wanted to show you how I did it because it worked really, really, really well. So if you're trying to pack for a picnic or if you're, you know, doing some kind of thing in your backyard and you don't want to make a bunch of trips back and forth, um, Hopefully these things will help you a little bit. Now you don't have to use the bags that I'm using, but it gives you a little bit of a sense of, you know, what maybe other things that you can use these bags for. Um, and obviously whatever bags that you've got, you know, you probably, you probably have different ones uh, that are different sizes and different shapes. Hopefully it'll work for what you're doing. So first off here, I have my uh, Flamingo Blue Peekaboo tote bag, which is my my probably one of my absolute favorite bags of all time. This particular bag and this particular print came in the 2021 summer mystery box and it remains one of my favorite things. Probably, well, you know what? It is my favorite thing I've ever gotten in a mystery box. Um, I got the mystery box because I had a feeling this product was going to be in it. I fell in love with it and I saw the sneak peek and then when I opened it I was relieved and thrilled because it still is probably one of my absolute favorite bags. I carry it a lot in the summer uh, for grocery shopping, uh, farmer's market shopping, and this time I'm carrying all of my dishes and my cutlery and cups and things like that 
all inside because that way when I bring it back upstairs, when the plates and things are dirty, I can still put them in the same bag, know that it fits, but even if the dishes are dirty, I can go back in there. Like once I've emptied the dishes into my dishwasher or into the sink, I just have to take a wet cloth or like a little like sort of anti-grease spray thing, spray it all in there, wipe it all down, let it dry a little bit, and my bag is back to being brand new. And I love this bag for this. So, um, so I'm just going to show you sort of what I've got. I'm hoping that you can see it. So I've got two like dinner size plates there. I have two dessert plates. Hopefully you can see right there. And then I have two pasta bowls, pasta plates in there. So it's just me and my friend. So hopefully this is all I'm going to need. Um, I don't exactly remember what she's bringing. I think she's bringing a salad. I'm bringing the main. I'm hoping the main. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. <laughs> um, I'm hoping to bring like a ratatouille. Maybe there's a pasta salad. I'm not quite sure yet. Have to figure that out. So I'm hoping that between all of these plates, it should cover all of our needs. Um, you can see here, this is another thing I got in that same mystery box, in the Summer Mystery Box 2021. This is a Tervis. Uh, I think it's the smaller one. So what is that? The 16 ounce? Whatever the shorter one is, um, Tervis cup that is in, I hope you can see it. Maybe you can't. Let me just see if I can pull it oh, up a little bit so you can sort of see. Actually, you know, I'll bring it out. So this is the lid and this is the cup. And I love this cup. I use it when we go on uh, little summer car trips. Uh, so it is the, um, what's it? I think it's, uh, oh, what's it called? Ooh, doo, 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 doo. It's not stars and stripes. What is it? It's shells and stripes. Shells and, no, shells and stars? Stars and shells? Navy? <laughs> Anyways, it's the interior print for all the ocean blue things. So now I'm just going to take, there's a little glass in here. There's an actual like glass glass. Probably shouldn't have touched that. I'll get a new one in a second. Um, I packed an actual glass glass in there. Um, I have a friend who doesn't love things in plastic, but I wanted to bring this because sometimes we get bugs. And if you have a glass glass, it's a whole lot you know, things can get in and then you're screwed. Um, or if you drop it or whatever it is, maybe she can have like one glass with water and one glass with iced tea. However she wants to do this, this is how it is. So I'm taking this down. I'm going to change it because I just realized I just, I touched her glass. Um, so <laughs> I'll do that in a second. But anyway, so, and that's the lid. So that's the lid for this thing. I love the colors. So this is one of my absolute favorite things that I, uh, got from that, uh, from that box. So I'm going to put that aside for just a second. Okay. Then I also have a, like a huge, like a tall, is it tall? Whatever the largest Starbucks cup is. Um, there's a Starbucks cup. That's for me. I use this one again when we go on car trips, but I want something bigger than this. <laughs> um, and it's also really cool because it has like a cool sort of straw cover. Hopefully you can see that. So whatever bugs come out, hopefully they won't crawl into my straw. So it has a little like sort of silicone, silicone cover on top there. So, and that's a color changing cup. So when that's cold, that light blue turns into a dark blue. So it ends up kind of looking like the straw. So that dark, that dark blue color there on the, on the, on the tip. So, uh, so that's mine. <laughs> so I don't care. I, you know, whether it's, you know, water, or iced tea, I can keep pouring the same cup. I'm not fussy. Um, so that's mine there. This is going to be my friends. I have this packed with a thermos. So this is my Oh, help. This is my Huggy in the matching flamingo blue. I've got a bottle. I'm going to actually switch this out because right now it's actually warm. I'm going to put a, a, a little bit of iced tea in here in a thermos. And so if someone wants like homemade iced tea, uh, like an unsweetened iced tea, it's going in there. So I'm going to actually put this in the fridge all night long. So the whole thing is going to stay cold. And then I'm going to pack it in right before I go. Um, and then this is the coolest thing that I... I think it's one of the best things that I've actually used this for. So there's my cup with my little straw thing. I think I got this for, oh, they're kind of expensive right now. I think there's, I think you can still get them at Starbucks for like 20, hang on, is it on the bottom? I just took it off. 28 Canadian, something like that. 30 Canadian. It's expensive as anything, but I just liked it because I love this little straw cover and I like the color because anybody who knows me knows I like blues and greens. Ta-da! So it matches really, really well with a whole bunch of stuff that I have, um, especially, you know, things like my ocean blue. So this is the tumbler 
in the ocean blue. And what I have in here is a kit of everything that I think I'm going to need outside of like my dishes. So like my cutlery, serving utensils, etc., etc., my napkins. So you can sort of see in there, I have a little tea towel because you never know, you can always use a tea towel if you want to wipe something up if someone spills something. I've got a little wad of napkins there. Um, I've got serving cutlery, so I've got some tongs. I've got like large serving spoon, a large serving fork. And then in here, I have the cutlery we're gonna use. So knife, uh, teaspoon, large spoon, fork in there. Uh, here, <laughs> I have a, like a candle in a mason jar. Sometimes again, if you wanna get rid of the bug, you need a little flame around uh, just to keep them at bay. Uh, this is my uh, butane refillable um, candle lighter whatever it's called, lighter. Uh, so that's going in here. And I also have a little bottle, whoops, lost the lid, of hand sanitizer spray in case for some reason someone's forgotten to wash their hands and they're too lazy to go inside and wash their hands so that we're all sort of, you know, not making a mess of things. So, and that's in uh, lemon, so it smells nice and fresh. Uh, I think it's sunshines and lemon, I think is the actual scent. So anyway, so now I, I'm sure I'm going to think of something else that I need to put in here. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. Um, the last time I met with a friend, I did have another little candle. So we had two candles on the side um, and that was... You yeah, it was really, really good. Um, I think I also had bug spray in here last time, but I decided to put the bug spray somewhere else because I just realized I probably shouldn't put bug spray with all my uh, utensils. Now, the utensils that I was using, sorry, the bug spray I was using was an all natural. Um, it was just uh, like essential oils. It wasn't DEET or anything like that. I feel like I'm missing something. Is that what it was? Was that all in there? I put everything back? Yeah, I hope so. Okay, so anyway, so that's how I packed this bag. And I think it looks really cute as well. Hang on, how did this go? Um, so I just put that down in the corner like that. I guess you saw me put the dishes in there. Ugh, there's another cup in the corner, so that should stay. And then this is going to eventually be the iced tea, which is not staying still at the moment. There we go. And so that because it's got a nice rubberized grip, will stay on my shoulder as I take that down. So I wanna make sure that all these things go down in one trip. I don't wanna keep going up and down the stairs. Once my guest arrives, it just makes it so much easier when I see her down there, I greet her, we walk to the backyard, we set up, and then we sit and we have lunch. Um, I'm gonna show you the other thing that I've packed up. So this is the uh, caboose in the uh, herringbone aqua. And this is packed with, um, well, I've got extra napkins in here. So I've got a bunch of extra napkins there. Um, I have a bottle opener. <laughs> I just remembered that that was where that was. I knew I'd put it somewhere uh, because of the bottles I have inside here. So I've got some. Uh, so I've got like a, like a really cool sort of premium ginger ale from Canada Dry. Uh, I've got another couple of uh, bottles of... I don't know, this one's mandarin flavor. There's another one, I think it's strawberry flavor. Um, so I got two of those. So I got two of these. Uh, I've got two cans of just sort of nest tea, iced tea. Whoops, ah, okay, so there's an ice pack. <laughs> I forgot to put that in the freezer. I will have to put that in. So I am gonna put a couple ice packs in here. So this is one, I've got two more in the freezer. I forgot that I have a third one in here. So once I get up in the morning, actually I'm gonna put all of these in the fridge tonight individually. When I pack it up and put it in here, the beverages will be cold, the ice packs will be freezing. Once I pack it in, this should stay cold for pretty much most of the time that we're out there. The other thing that I'm also going to pack in here, which again, I, I've got it in the freezer and I want to keep it that way. Um, I've got some desserts. Uh, so I've got them in the freezer at the moment. I'll take them out maybe, you know, sort of early, early in the morning before I go to bed. Um, and then hopefully they'll thaw. And by the time we eat, everything will be at room temperature. Uh, but I'm also going to put those in here just to keep it sort of a little bit on the cooler side so that nothing melts. I've got this little sort of carrot cake thing with like uh, icing on it. So I don't want the icing to sort of like dissolve and, you know, sort of go everywhere. So it's eventually going to go in here. It's going to stay a little bit on the colder side, uh, but it's not going to be so cold that we can't eat it but it's just going to stay in there while we are eating. So, so like I said, so the dessert's going in there. Um, a, like I said, a couple more um, ice packs. I might even see if I can find other beverages. I just don't know where they are at the moment. Um, so this is all just going to be beverages. And then, so that's that. Okay, so I think I'm just going to put that here. Oh, no, actually, wait a minute. One more thing. Okay, 
So, and I just realized I haven't packed something. <laughs> I have to go get that right after I film this because otherwise I'm going to be in big trouble. The last thing I've got, this is my Rover XL in the flamingo blue, which as you know, now is becoming sort of one of my favorite summertime prints. It's just so, cre it's so, so crazy and loud and fun and bright and there's nothing you can do but, but say this is a summer bag. So anyways, this is I, where I'm gonna carry the rice cooker <laughs> and the main dish. So again, at the moment, uh, I haven't fully, fully made it. Once I make it, I'll put it in there, put like saran wrap or some kind of like cover over top of it, take it downstairs like this. So um, I'm going to be making quinoa tomorrow. So I'm going to uh, make that. It'll go, it'll stay in here. That's my rice pot there, my automatic rice cooker. I love this thing. Um, it's not huge. Uh, this is sort of on the smaller side of rice cookers. Um, I got this at Costco. I think it's still there. I think it's called Cuckoo or something like that. Um, anyways, I love this thing. I use it all the time so I can cook anything in it. So the, the cooker is going to have quinoa. I'm going to have some other thing in here. I'm not exactly sure what. And if it's not this particular bowl, if it ends up being a whole lot smaller, there's another smaller bowl I have. It's very similar. I wanted to show you, this is like a big sort of salad bowl. I, I love this thing. I'm a bowl freak, by the way. Um, I love different bowls. I got this at the dollar store for $3, like five, six years ago. And I'm obsessed with it. It's like this basket weave, but it's... It's just ceramic. And like I said, I got it for $3 and it's this really cool sort of sage green. I love serving using this one. I usually put like potato salad in this. Um, but anyway, so I think a pasta salad is going in there. Um, and so it's just gonna sit right in there. I am going to put my bug spray. This is the bug spray I was telling you about. So it's all natural, it's all lavender, and I've mixed it in there with um, citronella oil. So inside there is citronella oil. I get eaten by bugs constantly. Um, this is not the right recipe. I sort of messed up the recipe a little bit. I put way too much citronella in there, but it still works relatively well for nothing too crazy. If I'm going into a forest, I will get bitten. But if it's just, you know, local city bugs, it's okay. I'm gonna put that in this little pocket here. There's that little side mesh pocket so I can see exactly where it is and it's right there. So my bug spray is in there, my main dish, my quinoa. The other thing I'm gonna put at the side here, I've got those mesh um, sort of bug covers. It's sort of, it sort of springs open, it lies flat. Uh, it has an elastic over top of it. And when you open it up, it sort of springs open to about that tall. Uh, it's just this round mesh cover that you put over top of your food so the bugs don't land on it and start eating away at your food. So that was something I just added this year. Um, last year I had a major problem with flies and things swarming around the food and it drove me nuts. So I decided this year I was going to look for that. Now those are sitting um, sort of by my door. I have to go and get those right after I finish recording this video. They're, they're just going to slide right here. I had those with, uh, when I saw my, my other friend last week and they perfectly fit right in here. So I had my main dish I had rice in this one last week because he made um uh what did he make he made curry for me so we had curry with rice and I had another little thing like I had like samosas in here it was very fun and then my little bug things there and then the bug spray um and I did exactly what I did with the other bags so I had this is my like thing that I can carry large items in um I might actually even put I actually have room for a larger taller thermos um, I don't know where it is at the moment. I thought I had it in my cupboard and I can't find it. I'm going to do a little search a little bit more. It's one of those coffee dispenser things. Like it's a big thermal thing and you sort of push on the lever and there's a little spout that you can sort of get water or get whatever out of. I have one of those. I just can't find it. Um, if I can find that, I'm going to fill that up with nice cold water and that'll be our water and it'll fit right here. Because again, uh, I have put something similar like there before, and then I'm gonna lay my other uh, bug spray things in my bug, my bug covers rather in there. So this is what I've got coming tomorrow. So this is gonna go over one shoulder, and that's the big main whoops thing there. The other shoulder <laughs> ugh, is gonna get this thing. Ugh. Um, so that's gonna be the second shoulder. Um, over across my body, I'm probably going to have a small coupe. That'll be the bag that I've got my keys in and my phone and maybe my charger, but I'll wear on my body the entire time so that I don't have my 
purse dropped or um, um, or someone may be walking by and taking it. So that's going to be on my body the whole time. Haven't figured out which coupe yet because I haven't figured out what I'm wearing. So I usually try to match my coupe with the outfit. Um, I wish I had a matching coupe with this one. I never ended up getting one. It's on the list though. If it ever comes down really cheap, uh, I'm buying one. I just haven't quite seen a price that works yet. And the last time they had them for $29, um, it was the only thing I wanted and it just wasn't worth paying shipping for it. So, and then of course the, um, the caboose with the beverages. Hope you can see all that. So big, big items. Uh, all the little smaller items will go into the, the medium bag and all the beverages and the dessert are going in the caboose. Hope you can see all that. It's kind of I don't know if you can sort of get it all. I can't get my camera any higher <laughs> and I don't have a wide angle lens because it's just a simple old iPhone. So anyways, that's how I'm going to use this all. I might eliminate this. I'll see how it goes. If I can find the other thermos, um, I might not worry about this one. Just put the two larger ones in the Rover XL. Um, but uh, I brought this because I was just like, well, hey, it matches and I might still just keep it around. So anyway, so there we go. There's a lot of lug being lugged downstairs tomorrow. Um, like I said, all in one trip. I have done this now. Well, it's going to be the third time. I now have seem to have it down. And the funny thing is, when I met my friend last week, um, who I hadn't seen in 20 years, like an old friend from school who I adore and I can't believe it had taken that long for us to get together and catch up. Um, when he saw me with all this stuff, he's like, wow, you, you have, a, you have so many perfectly, uh, like perfectly sort of assigned bags for what you do. You must do this all the time <laughs> because everything that came down like perfectly packed and everything was the right size. And he's like, you must do this all the time. I was like, no, I actually don't. This is the second time I've done it. I just happen to have a lot of different bags. So no matter the the problem or the situation or the, the 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 assignment the task i will have a lug for that particular problem and so ta-da and not only that but as it turns out they actually all look great together so these two match perfectly there's blues and greens in this particular thing if for some reason later if we're still downstairs and the weather gets a little bit cooler um, and i want to take a blanket or take a like a coat down i actually also have an ocean blue um oh what's it called <gasps> Oh my goodness, I've forgotten the name. Yacht. I have a giant yacht as well, and it works perfectly. So again, matches this. It matches this cup because uh, the interior is exactly the same. So yeah, I have like a full-on sort of tealy, turquoisey kind of set, and it just looks fantastic. It doesn't look good in this particular shot right now, um, but hopefully you kind of get the gist, and hopefully you sort of at least have a sense of how I'm using everything and what it's going to hopefully look like. If I can get all this stuff downstairs and sort of lay it all out uh, and get a good picture of it for you, I will do that and include that at the very, very end of the video so that you can sort of see how lugified my little get together with my friend ends up being tomorrow. So there we go. I hope that helps for you uh, to maybe plan your trips or your picnics or your get togethers, your barbecues or whatever it is. It's kind of the end of the summer, but you know, this might give you some ideas because you know, there's still barbecues in the fall and there's still potlucks and things we have to go to, bake sales, whatever, uh, family get togethers like Thanksgiving. So hopefully this gives you a bit of a sense on how you can use all of your lugs to move food. <laughs> so there we go. Hope that was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Pray for me tomorrow and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It would mean a great deal to me as it really helps with the algorithm in getting this video and channel seen. It also helps if you subscribe to the channel or buy me a coffee. You can find out more about that in the description below. And as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next video.